Method number three we will learn in our learning objectives is discounted payback. The discounted payback is very similar to payback, except we discount the cash flows first, and then we find out when they uh, pay the CFO back or when the uh, discounted cash flows equal the initial cost. So again, you need a discount rate, in this case, from the CFO. In this case, in this example, it's 12.5%. This investment costs $300, and we will get cash flows of $100 in each year for five years. Question, when do we uh, pay the CFO back? So this is similar to the first um, process uh, uh, method of uh, regular payback. Uh, but uh, And we can see we pay her back, in this case, in three years very quickly. But the question is, if we discount each of those cash flows, we know it's going to take a little bit longer. So the first $100 is worth $89. Second $100 is worth uh, $79. The third $100 is worth $70. The fourth $100 is worth $62. And the fifth $100 is worth $55. Question, when do we pay the CFO back in discounted terms? And we can see from this chart that that's three years for regular payback, and it will be four years for her to recapture her $300 back under discounted payback. Takes a little bit longer. Uh, some of the advantages of discounted payback, it does include time value of money, so that's a good thing. Still very easy to understand. Uh, may reject positive MPV investments and still requires that arbitrary cutoff point and a, also a discount rate from the CFO, biased against long-term projects. Um, here's an example of a discounted payback. An investment costs $400. It pays $100 each year. In perpetuity, 100, 100, 100, 100 sounds like an annuity and a perpetuity. Um, discount rate 20%. Uh, when is the CFO paid back on an ordinary basis and uh, on a um, discounted basis? So, certainly, ordinary payback is very simple um, it's four years. And uh, under uh, discounted payback, we can look at C over R. So, the present value of the cash flows is $500 and um, we can calculate uh, the discounted payback to be 8.8 .8 years. So we can see that uh, the CFO gets her money back in 8.8 .8 years.